When lots of people are using the same database, it can be hard for you to manage and share information with your team. For the purposes of this project, we'll put ourselves in the shoes of a customer success leader who wants a more customized home for their team's content. To accomplish this, we'll create a linked view of the company-wide docs table within the customer success homepage. Recall that companies should align on the key databases they need to run most of their day-to-day -day work. Usually meeting notes, docs, wiki, and tasks do the trick. These general resources live in the general team space, like in the case of Acme Inc., where we can browse this docs database. The views here are helpful, but they mostly apply to the whole company, in review, created by me, etc. They don't include team-specific views, and that's probably a good thing to prevent clutter. So as a team leader, what should you do to support your team in finding the information that's relevant to them? Let's navigate to the sales and success team space and find the customer success homepage. This is where we'll work today. To build our database, we simply start typing slash list and then select docs as our data source. From here, we're prompted to choose an existing view or create our own. Since we know that a team-specific view doesn't exist at the source, we can go ahead and start making our own. The rest is pretty straightforward. We'll just filter by team and add customer success, then add a sort by most recently edited so that things show up in the order of when they were last accessed, and voila. A dynamic hub for your customer success team that is still linked to the original database to prevent information silos, but makes it easier for teammates to stay focused. Remember that adding a new doc here will automatically apply the customer success tag too, so nothing will get lost. What's more, you can use the existing templates from the docs database to create docs in your own space. Because this database is linked, changes to things like filters and sorts won't appear on the original database. But changes to content, like adding rows, editing pages, or adding or removing properties, will. It also means that permissions for this database will be inherited from whatever is set up in the general team space. Thanks so much for joining us. That's all for now. Mm -hmm.